and welcome to Radiant Mommy. My name is Ixiana and today I wanted to talk about New Year's resolutions and a few that I would recommend that are not going to stress you out, but they can be very helpful in your journey to well-being. I was thinking about this because yesterday a new moon cycle began. I love following the moon cycles. They take 29 and a half days, so they're not a too, too long period of a time. And they help me kind of reflect on the things that happen, on the lessons I've learned, and on setting intentions for the following month, or just seeing where I'm at with my intentions. I never put too much pressure on what happens and what doesn't happen. I just see it as a fresh start every 29 and a half days. So to me, it's a very low key way to stay connected with my intentions and not put too much pressure on myself. Usually as the year ends, especially this one, because it's a decade that's ending, and that, that brings a lot of stress and anxiety to people. Most of the time, it's because we're thinking about where we're at, where we would, we would have liked to be, and all the things that we didn't accomplish. Like, why are we not where we wanted to be? Well, I'm here to tell you that wherever you are, that's where you're meant to be. You can always start from there. So please try to focus on that and not all the things that didn't happen. You made it. You made it a whole decade. And now you can move, move forward to whatever you want to move forward to. So try to remember that. All right. My number one resolution is pay attention to your breath. Mindful breathing is a very powerful tool. It's free. It's easy and super convenient because you can have it with you all the time, so you can use it anytime, anywhere. If any situation arises that's bringing you a lot of stress, you're starting to feel over overwhelmed, your heart's beating fast, you don't feel so good, just stop. Stop whatever you're doing and take three deep breaths. I do this all the time. For stressful situations, big and small. So from a small argument with my six-year-old to like I stepped on something and hurt my foot, I try to stop and take three deep breaths so I don't like, so I won't let the situation control me. All right, so here's what you do. It's so easy. You take a deep breath in and then you exhale slowly to the count of four. It's that easy. Stop and do that three times and I guarantee you it's gonna help you it helps your nervous system start calming down and it puts you on top of the situation so the situation does not control you. All right, number two thing that I recommend you to do or set up as a resolution for the new year is to learn to say no. Often, especially around the holidays, you will find yourself agreeing to be part of events or activities that you really don't want to be a part of. You will be saying yes to things that you really would rather say no to and in the process you're just going to bring yourself stress and if you make it to that event or activity you're not doing any favors to anybody because you're not going to be your best self. I, am, I do not mean to say that you should not participate in family gatherings or bring something to the potluck or anything like that but when somebody comes with you to you with a request think it over for a second and just know that you're allowed to say no. If it's something that's gonna stress you out and it's not gonna bring you any joy, it's okay. Say no, most people will understand and it's you're, you have the right to, okay? It's very empowering to have that option. So use it when you need to. Number three resolution is allow yourself to experience or feel grief. This is one that's touched me very deeply this year and I can say from experience, it is very powerful and very healing to allow yourself to experience the sadness or frustration, the confusion and whatever it is. It's okay and it's important that you allow yourself to feel those things. So if anything happened this year that caused you a lot of pain, don't just bury it. Allow yourself to feel that pain. It might not feel good at the time, but in the long run, it helps you, it gives you that space to grieve and to let go eventually so you can start healing. It's very, very important. I cannot stress this enough. We're always gonna encounter situations where things don't go our way, 
Sometimes it's gonna be very, very big things and it's gonna be very, very painful. It's unavoidable, it's part of life and it's part of cycles. So allow yourself, be there, be present in that pain, grieve as you need to, don't force it, uh, don't rush it, just let it happen. Examine it, think about it, whatever you need to do. You just don't get stuck in it, right? But allow yourself to feel it because that way you will see it'll be easier to let go and move forward. All right, number four is, please focus on your accomplishments and not on the things that did not happen or that you did not accomplish. Um, we have a tendency to focus on the negative instead of the positive. So a lot of times when the year ends, like I've mentioned before, you're thinking about why didn't you get to where you wanted to be or all the things or all the previous resolutions that did not come to fruition. Let's stop doing that right now. Let's start focusing on all your successes, big and small. It's been a whole year and you made it through. You're here, you're breathing. I'm sure there's a lot of beautiful things happening around you. Pay attention to those things. Be present. See how you have contributed to all the good things that are happening in your life as well. So that fourth resolution is very important. Try to promise yourself that moving forward this new year, you're going to try to focus on all the good in you, all the things that you have accomplished instead of the things that were not possible and just didn't happen. Because this is only going to set you up for more disappointment. If you're constantly ruminating on the things that you did not accomplish, on how you were felt short, on how you were not good enough, then all you're doing is creating fertile ground for further disappointment. So let's do the opposite. Let's kind of, instead of, instead of feeding on the negative, let's feed on the positive. Yes, things happen and you're not always gonna get everything that you want, but there's more things and there's definitely things that you are have accomplished. I know that for a fact. I know you have accomplished things because you know what? You're here and you're breathing. So keep that in mind throughout this, the end of this year and new year and every year that comes. Keep in mind that you've made it. Wherever you are at, that's where you're meant to be. You're there and you can move forward. So be mindful of that. I want to thank you all for showing up today, for showing up in all the previous times that I've been on this channel. Uh, thank you for your support. I am wishing you a year filled with light, filled with love, filled with health, and filled with all the things that, you, that make you happy. Thank you again for coming, showing up, and I'll see you next year. Happy New Year!